guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Empires. Last episode, we started our ocean empire with a couple of lily pad islands. Well, since then, I've been busy building more. I tried to make an epic time lapse for you, but as you can see, my building methods are very chaotic. I kept running out of dirt and I was constantly falling in the water. In fact, someone even tweeted me some fan art that sums it up perfectly. So now my empire is looking so much more impressive and we've got lots of these islands to build stuff on. So the first thing I'm going to build was a suggestion in a comment last episode, which was to build some flowers on some of the lily pads. So let's build one over here and hopefully this will look really cute. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. Let's see what it looks like on the map. Ooh! Let's do another one. Done. Ugh. Another cute little lily pad. I might not have the most powerful empire right now, but it's definitely unique. Now the next addition to my empire is going to be a queen's royal guard. Every ruler needs loyal warriors to stand by their side. And as queen of the sea, I have chosen the fearsome axolotls as my royal protectors. Breaking news! My U2's figure is available now for a limited time. Only a few days. So order now to avoid disappointment because once they're sold out, She's gone forever. Go to ldshadowlady.u2s.com to pre-order for October shipping. I had so much fun designing this figure and the packaging. Thank you guys all so much for your support in making this possible. Now back to the video. So first I need to make a couple of buckets, but these aren't just any buckets. These are special buckets used for the sole purpose of containing my axolotl army. So all I need to do is recruit a couple of axolotls. Ooh. <gasps> a beautiful glow squid! Wow! Who the heck is throwing that at me? Who threw that? Help me! Dolphins? Hello? Axolotls? Protect your queen! There's a tiny baby after me! Wow! <gasps> An axolotl! Whoa! Look at him go! Such a capable predator! You're hired! Oh my gosh, look how cute he is in the bucket! Do you have any friends? There's another one. Oh my gosh, how freaking adorable. And now this is perfect. If something threatens my safety, I will just release my axolotls and they'll attack. Oh geez, oh he's run away. No, come back. Yes, it's the perfect plan to ensure my safety. Absolutely flawless. Now I should probably build somewhere for them to live when they're off duty. So I'm just gonna build them a small little pond over here. And now if I place them inside, they should be happy. And most importantly, unable to escape. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, Ooh, maybe they'd like a little bit of seagrass. Here you go, my lovelies. Now we just need name tags for them. And I actually fished up one name tag already. So I just need a little bit of luck to fish up one more. One eternity later. Ah, so far I've managed to fish up a really good fishing rod and a really good bow, but not a single name tag. The next day. Eventually I fished up a second name tag and it was time for the naming ceremony. So I went down into my base to engrave the name tags and to my horror, I found myself in the middle of an attempted assassination. <gasps> ah! Okay, so maybe that creeper did crawl up from the mines, but maybe it was sent by Catherine, who happened to be online at the time. Perhaps she caught wind of my growing power and is trying to usurp me as queen of the ocean. Either way, now it's more important than ever to get my royal guards knighted. So first, I declare you Sir Strawberry, a knight of the ocean queen's royal guard. And next we have Lady Marceline, also a knight of the queen's royal guard. And now I'm unstoppable. Now that I have my personal bodyguards, I can take them and go exploring and take them on my missions with me. The first of which is a quest for farm animals. What on earth is going on over here? What? Why? What's happening? Their ship must have crashed. They need to be rescued. Come here, little guy. I'm towing them to safety. Now let's go and get some actual farm animals. Aha, a cow. Okay, let's go. Now this is efficiency. Now let's deposit these cows over on this island and we just have to hope that they don't fall into the ocean. I also collected some pigs and sheep and I now declare this Farmyard Island. Now next on my to-do list is to create an enchanting island. So I need to get myself underground to find some diamonds and obsidian in a good old fashioned strip mine. I will just station one of my guards here to keep me safe while I mine. 
Aha! Found him! Now let's only take two, and I'll leave the rest for when I have my fortune enchantment. Let's go, Sir Strawberry. We have an enchanting table to craft. Ta-da! Right here. Now we also need books. So I harvested all my sugar cane, and I went on a little moo moo massacre until I ran out of cows, and moved on to horses. So now, as well as all the leather I needed, I also have a horrifying collection of decapitated horse heads. But now we have a fully functional enchanting area. Now let's enchant my diamond pickaxe for the achievement. Ta-da! Ooh, efficiency unbreaking. Is, is that good? I don't know. Let's find out. In the caves. Yeah, this is pretty good. I found diamonds already. I think this pickaxe might be lucky, but I'm gonna need some fortune enchantments before I collect them. So we'll do that next time. But now that I know my enchanting area is working as intended and churning out the finest enchanted equipment, I'm gonna decorate it a little bit with some trees. And I really like the look of mixing spruce trees and oak trees. So I'm gonna plant a couple of each and we'll see what it looks like. Ta-da! Now let's also get some flowers and put them around the trees like this. And finally, we can make a bit of a path up to the table. And for the finishing touch, a couple of these lanterns dangling from the trees. And now this is looking so magical, it's adorable. Now I just need to figure out what to do with all these horse heads because I definitely don't want them anywhere near my empire giving me negative vibes. Instead, I'm gonna use them to intimidate another ruler. You know, just to show them what I'm capable of. So I'm taking my personal army and these horse heads over to Jimmy's swamp empire and I've chosen him as my victim simply because I'm not scared of him. Not yet anyway. Oh wow. I've never seen this empire before. This is nice. Whoa. Welcome to the Lord's residence of House Sausage. Well, okay, I'm intimidated. I shall not be picking a fight with House Sausage today. That is a powerful empire already. But here we are at the Swamp Empire, which is currently a small hut. So here I'm going to leave a chest with some horse heads inside and a note. Dear Jimmy, the ocean empire will soon rise from the sea. Beware the might of the ocean queen and her axolotl army. Blessings from the deep, Queen Lizzie. There. Hopefully he will note the diplomatic threat hidden within that note. Now let's go home to my cute little lily pad islands. Now the final thing I need to do today is obtain a conduit because frankly it's just getting embarrassing how many times I've almost drowned in my own empire. So a conduit will give me water breathing and night vision to see underwater. I just need to collect some super rare materials to craft it. So let's begin by celebrating the fact I already have one Nautilus shell. Just seven more to go. And of course, one Heart of the Sea. And we'll try and find that first because I actually acquired a buried treasure map and I wanna steal the treasure before anyone else gets it. So we must go north west. Hopefully it's not too far away because my arms are getting tired of rowing. Oh geez. Nobody tell anybody about that. Well, we're almost here. Somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. Okay, please, gods of the sea, have the treasure I require. Yes! Today is my lucky day. Let's get out of here. Now I think it would be fun to leave a sign here in case someone comes digging for this treasure. I'll tell them I already found it. Too late, XOXO. And you know what? I'm even gonna make it glow. <laughs> Could this day get any better? What is that? What is this? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Wow! This is amazing. Why is there cracked stone brick here? What? What is happening? It's my lucky pickaxe, isn't it? I'm gonna claim this as my secret grotto. Now this is adorable. And this is so close to my empire too. So I can come here whenever I need to relax and get away from the stressful politics and warmongering. Now let's go and get my Nautilus shells. So I'm gonna pick a nice spot and I'll see you in three days. Three days later. Even with my extremely impressive rod, I've still only managed to fish up three Nautilus shells. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. One eternity later. Yes! I finally acquired all eight Nautilus shells. I can craft my conduit. Oh, perfect. Let's just place this underwater and 
How does it work? Oh no, I need prismarine? <coughs> well, luckily there is this sea temple nearby, but I'm not sure how to harvest the prismarine without dying. Maybe I can just... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh no! I'm sorry! No! Not the mining fatigue. How do you kill these things? <gasps> a bow. I can kill them with a bow. Yoo-hoo. Oh. Yes. Kill him, Axolotl. Get him. Yeah. The Prismarine. Prismarine. Get it, get it. Yes, two shards. So now that I had perfected my guardian slaying strategy, I stayed on my little cobble island for a long, long time, shooting the guardians and collecting the prismarine shards. Every now and then an axolotl would come along and help me in my quest, but it was slow, painfully slow. And I had only collected 19 of the 42 blocks I required when this happened. And that near-death experience was enough to scare me away for good. So back home I went with only 19 prismarine blocks. But after a little bit of research, I discovered that I could build a pathetically weak version of the conduit cage using only 16 blocks. So here it is, my magnificent underwater device that I definitely should not have tried to obtain in episode 2. I think I need to rethink my priorities a little bit here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Empires. If you're impressed by my empire so far, make sure to leave a like. Next time I'm going to try and get some villagers, so please leave some comments down below with some ocean themed names for them and I will see you next time. Breaking news! Okay, this might actually turn people off by <laughs> <laughs>